Hi, my name is Brittany from Android Pit, and these are our first impressions of the HTC Uplay. The HTC Uplay has a 5.2 inch display with full HD resolution and a pixel density of 420 ppi. The display is protected by Gorilla Glass 3. Under the hood, you'll find an octa-core Helio P10 processor from MediaTek. There's also a Mali T820 MP2 GPU and 3 gigabytes of RAM. Just like the U Ultra, the U Play comes with HTC's Sense Companion AI Assistant, which delivers context-based information to the user. If you're planning on taking a long flight, you'll be notified if your battery won't last the entire journey. During the press event, we were only allowed to take pictures of the user interface since the software is not yet finalized. We'll be able to further test the device's performance in our complete review. The rear camera shoots with 16 megapixels, comes with an f2.0 aperture, and a focal length of 28 millimeters. Quick focus is achieved with the phase comparison autofocus, though the smartphone does not come with a laser focus module as seen on the U Ultra. There is a two-tone LED flash for low light areas. The 16 megapixel front camera comes equipped with an f2.0 aperture and 28 millimeter focal length. The smartphone comes with 32 gigabytes of internal storage, which can be extended with a micro SD card, but it lacks a second SIM card slot. The HTC U Play comes with a 2500 mAh battery. There is a USB type C port for charging the phone and transferring data. And just like the U Ultra, you won't find a headphone jack. The HTC U Play is available in certain regions from the end of February 2017. It comes in white, black, blue, and pink, and costs $479. At the moment, there's no US release date. However, we'll keep you posted in our review. Thank you for watching our full hands on review of the U Play. For more of our videos, please see the Android Pit channel. See you again next time!